We turn now to COVID and the COVID economy around the world. The head of the World Health Organization said last week the world is at another critical point of pandemic resurgence. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer reports from London. Good morning. 20 months in, this pandemic, which has now killed more than 5 million people worldwide, is once again surging in Europe. Winter arrived in central Siberia along with a deadly wave of coronavirus infection, one that swept clear across Russia. The vast majority of its victims were unvaccinated. Most Russians don't trust the state or the locally developed Sputnik V vaccine. So even after a month of record deaths, only roughly 35% of Russians have been immunized. Western Europe, especially Germany, is also seeing a huge spike in COVID cases. Hospitals are filling up, and once again, most of those seriously ill haven't had a shot. The Austrian government has said enough is enough. In hard-hit areas, people who get themselves fully vaccinated, it's said, can live normal lives. And those who refuse will go back into lockdown. <laughs> In the Netherlands, public patience with restrictions is wearing thin. Police brought out water cannons in The Hague as they faced off with protesters furious about new rules to tackle a COVID surge, including early closing times for cafes and restaurants. And increasingly across the continent, anyone looking to enter an indoor public space has to show a vaccine pass. The exception is Britain where Remembrance Day ceremonies went ahead pretty much as normal today. Everyone is breathing a little easier. After a big spike in October, UK COVID infections are finally on the way down. But even with high vaccination rates here and a smooth rollout of the booster program, the experts are saying that with winter looming, the UK is not out of the woods yet. Margaret? Liz Palmer, thank you.